at day eight of our voyage to voyage for cleaner energy en route to the World Summit in Rio, Brazil. Last eight days, no wind, zero wind. Today's like the first day we're getting a little bit of wind, but it's not enough to sail. We've been using all our fuel up. We're just about 200 miles away from the equator. I'm not expecting wind on the other side for another bit. But when we go into from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere, uh, the wind should start picking up because we'll be going into their winter. We should get nice strong easterlies, 20, 25 knots. This boat will love it and we'll fly along. So it's going to be like a bit of a put, 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 put most of the way. Hopefully the diesel will get us to the wind. If not, we're going to have a few days floating around. And then we're going to take off and then we're going to start doing hopefully big mileage. You know, over the 200s a day anyway. And uh, we'll speed things up at the moment. Talk for stopping in the Seychelles. Well, we're not going to do that now because as we thought, people who stop there, they have to have a security team on board to leave and it's a couple of thousand it costs in the end we don't have that funds available to us so Seychelles is off to be honest with you the way i'm feeling at the moment is i would just like to keep going get into our wind sail 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 it'll be very tight with the diesel but then we've got all the solar power and wind power to charge our batteries um, and you know we'll see how it goes the current place situation where we are is just about here sail down here going to Durban, which is here, somewhere, and then around there off the rail. So, nice easterlies along here, southerlies here, and uh, you've got the Gwilis current going there, so you get abnormal waves, do not want to go that way. Um, we are currently seven miles from the equator. Well, I'm having a daily grump today with all the crew about lots of different things and my main concern now is that there's no toilet paper in the heads in the toilet. I mean that's what I've got to put up with here is these kids who use all the toilet paper and just leave an empty roll there expecting their mummy to come by and replace it for them. And once I suggested everyone, oh not me, not me, not me. So it looks like uh, Mother today will have to put the toilet paper into the toilet. Uh, excitement has just arrived, quality rubbish. We do watch rubbish go past every day and that's the highlight of our day. But uh, here we have a big piece of polystyrene it looks like from here. Hard to tell. No. Plastic bag. It's like a skull. So are you excited about today Adam? Not really. Yeah. Dara? Can't wait, well, These guys are just fun to sail, as you can tell. They're just like a bag of joy. Get up forward, land lovers. Come on. No. no. <laughs> Stay where you are. So what do you think we should do with them? Shoot the fuckers. No, too severe. Lash them. No, too severe. The fool. The fool. <laughs> We shall read your sins too. Whether the realm of Neptune, Adam, you've been found guilty of being a non team player. <laughs> a non team player! Oh, be your oh, brush! Oh, your brush! Oh, a danger to himself and others! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> danger! Oh man! To himself! And others! <laughs> Not following captain's orders! And sitting down staring with his feet! Oh my god! Sit down! Oh. Staring! <laughs> with his feet! And as Neptune says, confidence we like, cockiness we do not, now you will pay! Get off the boat! <laughs> Sarah Hegney stands before us to cross oh God, into our awesome. realm and land lovers to Seago and something other. <laughs> well, first you must pay for your sins. Sir, you are now charged today with destroying the Irish economy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Blowing the boat budget on a 
cooler box out of the big brown whale! Lake Siege in the galley for three days, refusing to leave! Lake Siege ruins extra station! Impatient for five star bill for the rest of the trip! <laughs> Divert the captain's attention from the normal victim purchases again. Draining the budget. Draining the budget. <laughs> I say, get off this ship. <laughs> One more. Get on the rail, boy. Oh, man. Get on the rail, on the boy. Hell. Don't you want my meat? We whip your ass. Your seat on the other side. I need it. No, on the other side. Don't be whinging to us. Hey, Peter, a.k.a. Kyoto. Or Kyoto. Or Kyoto. Whatever they call We don't know which one it is. What are those eyes? Or a key jack go herder. No business in the Nordic atmosphere. Ah! Outside the system, the dark matters of the galley. Hold on, I'm forgetting to punish the player. Oh! Punish him! Punish him! Back chat from the skipper! Smoking tree bags! Shitting on the rest of the crew! Morning, the galley is smoking! I'm the captain out of a restaurant! Lumber! Failing to clean up the mess behind! Get off this ship, landlubber! Get off this ship! Getting past the point of concern about diesel. Uh, running very, very low on it. Just about uh, lowest revs I can run, but still movement. That's why we're going so slow. It's day nine, I mean, the engine's been on for nine days. We've gone through a lot of fuel. Still have a bit, but I've got a couple of days still to go according to the, the weather charts before I get wind then things will change quite quickly and we get that nice breeze I keep talking about but still as you can see it's like glass still not a breath of air Seychelles a couple of hundred miles away but say can't stop there you know I've just got to survive these next few days and then the wind will fill in and everyone will be in better form we just start sailing and do what we came here to do it just slowly niggles away at you this, this endless motoring in flat seas, you know, but um, the crew seem to be holding it together anyway. <laughs> <laughs>